guys, it's your boy, Barca boy, 103, just finished watching the match and Barcelona beat Cadiz by one goal to nil in what was not only a boring half an hour or first hour of the game, for sure, but definitely a game that could have gone way, way worse and a different result would have caused the mood to absolutely drop, but we're still just a little bit in this league title race and of course the momentum and confidence is high going into a massive week next week. The line for this match is on the screen for you right now. It was a heavily, heavily rotated side. It was Ter Stegen in goal, a back four of Hector Fort, Christensen, Kubarsi, and Marcus Alonso, a midfield three of Romeo, Roberto, and Fermin Lopez, and a front three of Ferran Torres, Victor Roque, and the main man tonight, Juo Felix. Look, the game was as we expected. It was going to be a dull game. It's going to be a game that no one really cares about. You just want to go out there, get the win, and get the hell out of there. And we've done that. We've made hard work of it as well, I believe, especially in that final 20-25 minutes where I was a bit concerned, a bit worried that we were going to give it away. But thankfully, we didn't. Look, the first half an hour of the game was dead. Corner kick comes in. Joel Felix, individual brilliance. Bicycle kick scores it. Gives, the, gives us the lead going into the break. Second half, very much professional. I think we played a very... Uh, Pro game. We did have, of course, a lot of chances in that second half. Again, the decision making in the final third, one extra decision here and there, and you're looking at a chance uh, being created. I think Chabby's subs, in terms of players coming in, were great, but players that were coming out, a bit questionable, in my opinion. Cadez did have a few chances, but they're shooting all from outside the box. Their second, of course, made that huge, huge, huge save around, I think, the 85th minute. After that, Barcelona were uh, very, very cautious in what they were doing. Marcos Alonso came in, was a destroyer, won a few tackles. And we got the win. I, I, I'm very, very happy. Yet again, another professional performance where Barcelona know they should go out there and win this game. Move on. We won't really care about the performance. Did we play great tonight? Let's be honest, we didn't. I think we did have some good moments of uh, phase of play. We had some good progression uh, in the final third as well. In the midfields where we really struggled with, uh, we had no real balance. We had no real dictator. Once Pedri came into the game, that midfield was much more comfortable. I think Pedri alongside a couple of other players as well single-handedly won us the three points tonight. Now, in terms of player ratings, I think first they're saying in goal gets a high seven, low eight. Probably I'll give him an eight. I think distribution tonight wasn't too bad. Of course, made that monumental save around the 85th minute as well. Brilliant save. That's a goal. That's a that's going in the back end. If he doesn't save that, so I think that was absolutely brilliant. Uh, right back was Hector Ford. Don't think Hector Ford had the greatest of games. And again, I was very excited to see Hector Ford at right back, his natural position. I think in the first half an hour, he did all right, but gave the ball away a bit too much, especially in the second half. I didn't think he was terrible, but I would say 5.5, 6 out of 10. Christensen, I thought, was a, you know uh, solid. I think he was you know average. I would give him a 6. I think Kobarsi, yeah, again, is just impressing. Give the ball away a little bit in this game. His passing wasn't as high and as fantastic as we're used to being, but I think it's you know normal for sometimes uh, to give him the ball away a little bit. We saw him struggle as well when he was when there were moments when he had to use his left foot, but he, of course he didn't because his left foot was not a strong foot, so he had to turn to his right foot, give the ball away a few times there, but definitely gave him a 7 out of 10. Created a lot of chances, of course, through his passing. Had some elite defending, especially in that first half. Was absolutely sublime, in my opinion. Probably gave him a 7, 7.5 out of 10. Left back, I mean... I honestly believe I would put in a better shift at left back than Marcus Alonso. I think Marcus Alonso was woeful today. I think he was dreadful. I mean, he was so slow. He he cost us two chances. I think the um, the handball shout where it hit Grish's, um elbow, which of course wasn't a handball, that came from Marcus Alonso being too slow. I think the um, there was another chance as well where I remember the player ran past Alonso twice, put a decent put a decent cross in. I think it was headed wide by Rajon Marti. Alonso forward and defensive today was terrible. And thank God he's we're bidding him in the summer. He is not at the Barcelona level whatsoever. I don't even think Marcus Alonso will start for Barca Athletic. I think Rafa Marquez, if he got if he got Marcus Alonso, would be like, yeah, no thanks. You can you can keep that. He was dreadful. And how he played 90 minutes is beyond me as well. And speaking of that, in the pivot, Romeo, I think Romeo again was woeful today. He to be fair to Romeo, he won he wins the ball back, you know, fairly well. But all the ball, he's just shite. I mean, his decision making for a veteran, for a 30 year old, 32 year old, who of course one of the best um, pivots in La Liga last season, his decision making is one of the worst I've seen. I mean, he's surrounded. I'm thinking, all right, pass it back to Conde. You have Kobarsi, you have Christian behind you. You know, try to flick nutmeg a player and then just lose the ball completely. Try to find Lemenya Mala in a pocket of space. Try to find Joel Felix with a big switch. His decision making is one of the worst in the team, 100%. I think. Win the ball back, you know, he was all right in that, but again, he's just, I ha the, what happened to Romeo? I mean, preseason Romeo, I was hyping up to be the next best thing since sliced bread. 
My God, has he let us all down. Uh, who else are in the midfield? I think Fermin Lopez played a really, really good game. Should have had a goal, of course, that was cleared off the line. I think he was uh, one of the bright lights in this team, was always progressing forward. Didn't really get on the ball that first half an hour. Him and Ferran Torres down that right-hand side was absolutely dead. Uh, gives a lot of energy in that second half as well with tracking back, progressing forward. Again, decision-making in the final third between him and the man Yamal Ferran Torres wasn't the best, but I think, again, he put in a good shift. Definitely give him a 7 out of 10. And um, Roberto. I'm going to give Roberto my man the match. Uh, call me bias. Call me whatever you want. Call me an idiot. I think Roberto was the best Barcelona player tonight. Of course, Fran, of course, Joel Fis will get the highlights. He'll get the, you know, man that actually scored the bicycle kick. But in terms of the actual performance for a full 90 minutes, I think Roberto was fantastic today. Bit of a slow start for him in that first 20 minutes. But, you know, he came back into it. Uh, he won a lot of tackles in the midfield. He progressed the ball very, very well. He was carrying that midfield on his back in terms of transitional play. Then dropped to right back for half an hour as well. As, as well, was solid there. Uh, you know, his... Uh, he was very professional in his job at right back. Didn't really progress for, so to speak. He had the ball in possession, would distribute it, win some tackles back as well. I think Roberto put in a hell of a performance. And you know, this is why the club want to renew his contract. When he's fit, you know, he can do and help with the team. And he's proving us that as well. I think Roberto was absolutely fantastic today. And I'd probably give him an 8 out of 10 and my man of the match. Fernando Torres was very, very disappointing today. I'd probably give him a 5, 6 out of 10, maybe 5.5. I think... He made some good runs, just didn't have really enough of the ball, especially in that first half. Second half was a bit disappointing with his decision making. Um, and again, his touch was very off today as well. And there are a lot of times when he win the ball back and then lose it because the second touch was absolutely terrible. So in that regard, I don't think Fran Torres was in the best of shapes today. But I understand he's coming off the back of uh, an injury. It's his first 90 minutes as well. I'm surprised he played 90 minutes. Um, but yeah, I don't think he was that good today. Victor Roque, poor kid man, was playing the graveyard shift. Got absolutely no service whatsoever and this is why you know Lewandowski he's uh, got a lot of criticism this season but I think Victor Roque honestly wasn't too bad I think his hold up play was okay again we saw the frustration that Lewandowski suffers with a lot this season where you get tackled from behind so many times the referee never calls him maybe calls one out of ten and we saw that frustration a lot with Victor Roque was pressing very well had the intensity to his game didn't stop running yes I get it you know you, you know get paid to get to run I understand that but Honestly, had no chance in this game. Had that one shot, I think, in the first five minutes where he had a lot of open space just outside the just outside the arch. Uh, didn't take the shot on too well because he took way, way too long with it. Apart from that, I don't think he had another shot, another shot in this game, period. So, it sucks for him. At least he got an hour into the game. Got some minutes under his belt. Would have loved to see him play 90 minutes ahead of Fran Torres, but it is what it is. And finally, as well, Felix, I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 as well. Not quite my man in the match. I'm giving it to Roberto, of course. I think Felix today had an absolutely brilliant game. He was our only outlook, our only creative spark in the team before the goal and after the goal. As well, I think even after the goal, he hit the post. He had that toe poke that just went wide as well. He's creating absolutely everything. He looked like the only player in that front line that had a bit of something to him tonight. Credit to him. I think without him and Roberto and one other player, we would have dropped points in this game. I'll talk about who that other player is in just a few seconds. Substitutions. We had a triple change, of course, of Lamen Yamal, Kunde, and Pedri. I think Lamen Yamal came in, had a few chances. I would have expected him to, to finish... Um, the one that was outside the boot, and again, the final pass again to whether it was Ferran Torres, sometimes it was intercepted, it wasn't his fault, to Joel Felix wasn't quite there yet, but again, movement and, you know, positional play, progressing the ball forward was absolutely fine. Conde came in, at right, at, at right center back today, playing in his preferred position, according to a lot of people, put in the shift as well, didn't put a foot wrong. Uh, Pedri, I think Pedri won us this game, alongside Roberto and Joel Felix. Pedri came to that midfield and carried it like no tomorrow. We were, even the computers were mentioning this in the during the game as well, Barcelona had no creative spark, no one to carry the ball and make transitional plays, Pedro came in and did exactly that. Crucial, crucial substitution that from Xavi. Pedro came in to take the tempo, uh, progress the ball forward, uh, you know, took on Cadez midfielders to create space as well. Absolutely sublime. I think without those three players today, this result would have been much, much, much different. Um, who, who came in before Casado? I completely, or Rafinha came in. I don't think Rafinha really did much, to be honest. Came in the midfield and went on to the left wing for the last few minutes when Joao Felix got uh, taken off. Quiet day for him. Uh, Casado came in uh, for the last 10 minutes, I think it was. Came in and put a shift, man. He won two brilliant tackles. The one from the corner kick and the one just before that as well. Just beside the coaching area. That's all he really did, to be honest. But, you know, credit to him. Came on for 10 minutes and, you know, helped us win the three points. So overall, very, very satisfied with the result. Of course, a win and a clean sheet. Clean sheets in La Liga are coming left, right, and center. Ter Stegen is well in this Zamora Trophy uh, competition for sure. Uh, again, three points as well. So we're eight points off Madrid going into the Clasico. We win the Clasico. It's a five points difference with, I think, uh, six games left. You never know. You never know. But of course, we lose the Clasico or don't win it. 
league title is 100% over, but I'd say there's 1% chance. And of course, we're going to have 99% faith. In the comments down below, let me know your thoughts on the match, your player ratings, your thoughts on the performance as well, substitutions from Chavi. I would say Chavi tonight, I'll probably give him a solid 7 out of 10 and fully rotate the side, got the 3 points, clean sheet. Substitutions were good. I would only do Christmas I have for Chavi today is how the hell did Romeo and Alonso both play the full 90 minutes today. That, I think, genuinely could have cost us. There's maybe another... 20 minutes left in this game. I think generally one of them would have made a mistake and cost us a goal. They both almost did on multiple occasions. So hopefully Chavi can learn from that. I think he really just wanted to, I think he really pushed in the all in, just rewind them to play, get some minutes, and then that way just never use them again this season. And of course, make sure you guys subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time on the channel. Take care and force a Barca. <laughs>